Have you ever wondered how Tesla cars are made? Well, today I will answer part of that question by telling you how Tesla makes its car bodies using machines known as gigapresses. Time and time again, Elon has reminded us that Tesla gigafactories are the company's actual product, and the cars are just a byproduct, and gigapresses are an integral part of all Tesla gigafactories. So join me as I look more into gigapresses to figure out why Tesla developed the machine. But before we go any further, let me explain first what a gigapress actually is. What is the gigapress? A gigapress is the largest die-casting machine in the world to date. It weighs up to 430 tons and is 20 meters long, 7.5 meters tall, and 6 meters wide, with a clamping force of up to 61,000 kilonewtons. Because of its size, it can cast extremely large components, like car parts. At this size, it takes over 20 flatbed trucks to transport just one gigapress if it ever needs to be moved or delivered. So, a gigapress is basically a gigantic machine that molds and casts out complete sections sections of cars, much like how toy cars are made with molten plastic by injecting it into molds. Of course, the Gigapress works under the same principle, but it is on a rather large scale and uses molten aluminum alloy instead of plastic. Currently, the Idra Group and LK Group are the only ones making the Gigapress machines, with Tesla being the first car manufacturer to use them. Since the announcement of this revolutionary development, many people in the die-casting industry eagerly awaited to see the largest die-casting machines operational. Fortunately for them and us, that happened a couple of years ago. But how did the Gigapress come to be? How did the Gigapress come to be? Well, it is important to note that die-casting has always been an effective way to mass manufacture and that it has been done for many years in car manufacturing. The only difference is that die-casting was mostly used to make smaller parts which were then assembled together. However, with the Gigapress, the idea was to use it to manufacture much larger parts that could be assembled much more efficiently and faster. So at Tesla, while Elon Musk and the Tesla team of engineers were looking for ways to make the Tesla cars cutting edge, the manufacturing process of the electric car also had to fit that definition. They collaborated with another team of brilliant engineers to create a machine that casts entire sections of vehicles at a go. Not only did this speed up the manufacturing process, but it also increased efficiency. Although both companies have enjoyed the great success of the Gigapress, their individual stories differ regarding how the Gigapress came to be. On the one hand, Elon said that they called the six major press manufacturers worldwide to find out if they could build a machine large enough to allow Tesla to cast their vehicle frames in a single shot. Five of them said no and only one of them said maybe. They went with the maybe, which has been a successful turn of events. The press manufacturer that said maybe was the Idra Group, an Italian company with years of experience manufacturing die-casting machines that are used worldwide. When addressing how the Gigapress came to be, the general manager of the Idra Group, Riccardo Ferrario, said the idea came to him in a dream, and he woke up with the mission to create the world's largest casting machine. Elon's call just happened to be a coincidence. One thing is for sure, they are both very good storytellers. I'll give them that. I believe both stories could be true, and we can chalk this up to a classic case of at the right place at the right time. Well, after that call, the first customized Gigapresses for Tesla were delivered and became operational in 2020 at the Tesla Fairmont factory. These were called die-casting machines 1 and 2, or DCM1 and DCM2. Not a lot of thought was put into naming them, I see. Then again, they weren't made for their names. The two were made to cast single-piece rears. After the pair's success, the OL6100CS model was developed for Tesla's German Gigafactory, followed by the Impress Plus DCC 6000 model made for the Chinese Gigafactory. The German and Chinese-based Gigapresses brought with them the development of stamping out the rear section and the front. Using the Gigapress has revolutionized the automobile manufacturing process by doing away with the age-old tradition of casting smaller components that are later put together. With the Gigapress, car manufacturers can now enjoy the benefits of faster, more precise, and more efficient processes, just as Tesla has been. Currently, Tesla only has to deal with three chassis parts of the car. The front structure, the rear structure, and the car bed, ultimately making the production of Tesla cars the cheapest in the electric car manufacturing sector. So, how does the Gigapress actually work? How does it work? Well, the Gigapress uses two sets of ovens that handle the aluminum alloy. One is a melting oven powered by natural gas. It operates at a temperature of 850 degrees Celsius. The other oven stores the liquid metal heated by electrical power and operates between 
between temperatures of 750 and 850 degrees Celsius. At the core of the die-casting mechanism is the gigapress. It has a similar construction to any regular high-pressure die-casting equipment and functions like one, except that it is enormous in size. First, you should note that these huge machines can apply a clamping force of 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons, working on a molten aluminum alloy of up to 80 kilograms. The molten aluminum alloy from the ovens is injected into the casting mold at very high speeds. Then the press is closed. After about 90 seconds, the casting is completed and the mold is cooled to a temperature of 185 degrees Celsius. Two minutes later, the next cycle begins. The gigapress's speed allows for an output rate of between 40 and 45 castings every hour, making more than 1,000 castings per day. As if that was not enough, this whole process is automated, with no humans involved in operating the gigapress. In true Elon Musk style, robots are specifically designed to perform some of the tasks that keep the gigapress operational and productive all day. Some robots lubricate the mold at the beginning of each cycle. Then there is one that injects the molten alloy into the mold and one that removes the casting after the process is complete and dips the casting into a water tank. Another robot cleans the mold in preparation for the next cycle. But while cleaning is done, the finished casting is put through a mechanical press to trim off the excess aluminum alloy by another robot. The trimmed off scrap aluminum alloy is shredded and the offcuts are utilized for the next casting cycles. After trimming, the casting is x-rayed for quality control and the final robot in this process, a laser guided robot, drills in all the holes that will be used to assemble the casting with other sections of the car. That is the process of how one gigapress and its accompanying robots work to make one section of a car. Why is the gigapress important to Tesla? Remember how I mentioned earlier that according to Elon, Tesla's actual product is its factory? Well, this is the reason why the gigapress is so important for Tesla. It can all be summed up in one word, efficiency. A giant die-casting machine that can produce entire car segments in one go makes Tesla's factories and the entire manufacturing process extremely efficient, with downstream benefits all along the production line. Other big auto manufacturers like Toyota and Honda also use die-casting in their production lines, but none of them thought to develop a machine that can cast entire segments of a car's body in one go. They still use a slightly antiquated technology of stamping and welding pieces together. Therein lies the genius of the Gigapress. It eliminates the need to produce multiple segments, and casted components are structurally more sound as it reduces multiple points of failure. Elon said in an interview that using the Gigapress to cast the rear underbody assembly on a Model Y allowed Tesla to go from making 70 small parts to one giant part, eliminating 300 assembly robots and reducing the body shop space by 30%. Similarly, they eliminated another 300 robots for the front underbody assembly. This way, Tesla's new Giga Berlin and Giga Texas factories are the most efficient car production lines in the entire industry. Tesla's cash conversion cycle, which is to say the time it takes to convert cash into a car and then sell that car to generate cash flow, was negative 15 days in 2021. This means that Tesla cars are sold even before they had to pay to manufacture them. By comparison, Toyota's cash conversion cycle in 2021 was 31 days, and Volkswagen's was at 74 days. Hopefully, you can now see what having a super efficient production line with the Gigapresses means for Tesla. Not only that, but it has also led Tesla to claim a profit margin of over 30% on its cars. This is insane in the automotive world, and it is all thanks to the Gigapresses. So why did Tesla develop the Gigapresses? Simply to disrupt the automotive manufacturing process once once and for all. Well, what do you think of the Gigapress? Do you think Tesla will reach a point where they can use a Gigapress to make the entire car chassis in one go? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and continue watching the next video by clicking on one of the cards on your screen. See you in the next one.